How your body maintains a healthy blood pressure? This seemingly simple question leads us into a world of complex physiological mechanisms that work in harmony to regulate our blood pressure. Let's begin with the basics. Blood pressure is the force that blood exerts on the walls of our arteries as it circulates around the body. It's a vital part of our body's functioning, ensuring that every cell receives the oxygen and nutrients it needs to thrive. So, how does our body regulate this crucial force? The answer lies in a trifecta of systems, the autonomic nervous system, the kidneys, and the endocrine system. Each of these plays a unique role in maintaining our blood pressure within healthy limits. First off, there's the autonomic nervous system. Think of this as your body's automatic pilot. It constantly monitors and adjusts the diameter of your blood vessels and the speed and strength of your heartbeat. All these adjustments are made in response to the body's changing needs. For instance, when you're exercising, the autonomic nervous system ramps up your heart rate and dilates your blood vessels to ensure more blood reaches your working muscles. Next up, we have the kidneys. These unsung heroes regulate blood pressure long-term by controlling the volume of blood in your body. They do this by adjusting the amount of water that's excreted or retained. More water means more blood volume and higher blood pressure, while less water means lower blood volume and lower blood pressure. Finally, there's the endocrine system. This system of glands produces hormones that act on the heart, blood vessels, and kidneys to regulate blood pressure. Some hormones increase blood pressure, like aldosterone and angiotensin, while others, like atrial natriuretic peptide, decrease it. Each of these systems is interlinked, working together to fine-tune your blood pressure in response to the body's needs. From moment to moment and day to day, they help your body adapt to changes in activity, stress levels, and fluid intake. So, the balance of these systems is essential in maintaining our blood pressure within healthy limits. Could your genes be influencing your blood pressure? It's a question that has intrigued scientists for years, and recent research is providing some fascinating answers. Our genetic makeup, the unique blueprint that defines us, is a complex web of factors that can influence our health, including our blood pressure. Certain genetic predispositions can make us more susceptible to either hypertension, which is high blood pressure, or hypotension a condition of low blood pressure. In some families, you might notice a pattern of high blood pressure, often spanning several generations. This could be a hint at a genetic predisposition. But it's not just about one gene or two. It's a whole orchestra of them playing together. In recent years, Genome-Wide Association Studies, or GWAS, have been instrumental in identifying novel genetic markers related to blood pressure. Think of these markers as signposts, pointing researchers towards genes that might be playing a role in blood pressure regulation. For instance, some studies have identified genes associated with the function of the kidneys and their role in maintaining blood pressure. Other genes are linked to the way our bodies handle salt, a factor known to influence blood pressure. These genetic markers are helping scientists piece together the puzzle of why some people might be more prone to blood pressure issues than others. However, it's not a simple cause and effect relationship. Our genes interact with a multitude of environmental and lifestyle factors. This means that even if you have a genetic predisposition for high blood pressure, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doomed to a life of hypertension. By understanding these genetic factors, we can move towards more personalized approaches to managing blood pressure. This could involve targeted lifestyle changes, specific medications, or even future gene therapies. So, are your genes influencing your blood pressure? The answer is likely yes but the full picture is complex and still being unraveled. The exciting part is that with each new discovery, we're getting closer to understanding this intricate balance. Your genes could potentially hold the key to understanding your blood pressure regulation. And who knows, one day we might even be able to fine tune this genetic symphony to help us all live healthier, longer lives. Can your lifestyle choices influence your blood pressure? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's dive into the answer. First off, we have diet. You are what you eat, as they say, and this couldn't be truer when it comes to blood pressure. Consuming foods rich in sodium, for instance, can elevate your blood pressure levels. On the flip side, a diet filled with fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can help keep your blood pressure in check. Now let's jog over to exercise. Regular physical activity makes your heart stronger, and a stronger heart can pump more blood with less effort. The less your heart works, the less force is exerted on your arteries, and the lower your blood pressure will be. As for stress, it's a sneaky culprit. Chronic stress can lead to a host of health problems, including high blood pressure. While it's not always possible to eliminate stressors, it's crucial to find healthy coping mechanisms. 
This might mean taking up yoga, practicing deep breathing exercises, or even adopting a pet. Sleep is another critical factor. Poor sleep or sleep disorders like sleep apnea can disrupt the natural fluctuation of blood pressure, leading to higher overall levels. Ensuring you get a good night's rest is vital for maintaining optimal blood pressure. Now, how about some success stories? In a recent case study, participants who adhered to the DASH diet, which emphasizes fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy, experienced significant reductions in their blood pressure. Another study found that people who engaged in regular aerobic exercise lowered their blood pressure by an average of 5 to 8 mmHg. Of course, lifestyle modifications aren't a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one person might not work for another. But the key takeaway is this. Your lifestyle choices can indeed have a profound impact on your blood pressure levels. Indeed, lifestyle modifications can play a significant role in managing your blood pressure. So, take a moment to reflect on your lifestyle habits. Could you make healthier choices? Remember, the power to control your blood pressure could very well be in your hands. How are modern technologies helping us keep an eye on our blood pressure? Welcome to the era of wearable technology. These nifty devices are not just for counting steps or tracking sleep. They've evolved into an invaluable tool for continuous blood pressure monitoring. Imagine having a personal portable blood pressure monitor that you can wear on your wrist, just like a watch. These gadgets can keep track of your blood pressure round the clock, providing a comprehensive picture of your health. But it's not just the wearables that are revolutionizing blood pressure monitoring. Telemedicine and mobile health apps are playing a significant role too. They provide a platform for real-time data sharing with healthcare professionals, enabling timely interventions and personalized care. Whether it's a smartwatch alerting you to a potential health issue or a mobile app reminding you to take your medication, Technology is making it easier to manage our health. Technology has certainly revolutionized the way we monitor and manage our blood pressure. What's new in the world of antihypertensive medications? Well, there's quite a bit to be excited about. Researchers are continuously developing and refining medications to manage hypertension, and recent years have seen some significant breakthroughs. Let's dive in. The first point of interest is the development of next-generation antihypertensive drugs. These new medications are designed to better target the root causes of hypertension, such as an overactive renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, which can lead to vasoconstriction and fluid retention. This targeted approach can help to manage blood pressure more effectively while minimizing side effects. In addition to these innovative drugs, there has also been remarkable progress in the realm of combination therapy. This involves using two or more drugs, each with a different mechanism of action, to manage hypertension. The synergistic effects of these combinations can offer superior blood pressure control compared to using a single drug alone. But perhaps one of the most promising developments is the growing field of pharmacogenomics. This is the study of how genes affect a person's response to drugs. In the context of hypertension, pharmacogenomics can help us to understand why some patients respond well to certain medications while others do not. By examining the genetic variations that influence drug responses, Researchers can develop personalized treatment plans that are tailored to each individual's unique genetic makeup. This personalized approach can help to maximize treatment effectiveness while minimizing the risk of adverse effects. And this isn't just a theoretical concept. There are already examples of pharmacogenomics being used in clinical practice. For instance, some clinicians are now using genetic testing to guide the selection of antihypertensive drugs for their patients. This is a major step forward in the pursuit of precision medicine. In conclusion, the world of antihypertensive medications is evolving at a rapid pace. With the development of new drugs, the advent of combination therapies, and the growing use of pharmacogenomics, we're seeing a shift towards more effective and personalized treatment strategies. And as we continue to unravel the complex mechanisms underlying hypertension, we can look forward to even more exciting breakthroughs in the future. The future of hypertension treatment is looking promising with these pharmacological advances. Can we control blood pressure without medications? The answer is a resounding yes, and there's a wealth of research to back it up. One approach is through dietary changes, such as the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, or the DASH diet. This eating plan focuses on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, all while keeping sodium intake in check. Speaking of sodium, reducing its consumption can also have a significant impact on blood pressure levels. Too much sodium can cause the body to retain water, putting extra strain on the heart and increasing blood pressure. But it's not all about diet. 
Stress-reducing techniques such as mindfulness and yoga have shown efficacy in lowering blood pressure. By calming the mind and body, these practices can help mitigate the harmful effects of stress on blood pressure. These non-pharmacological interventions can be a powerful tool in blood pressure management. Can optimal blood pressure regulation contribute to a longer, healthier lifespan? This is a question that has intrigued researchers for years. Recent findings suggest a strong correlation between blood pressure regulation and the processes of aging. Blood pressure, in essence, is the force exerted by circulating blood against the walls of the body's arteries, the primary blood vessels in our body. High blood pressure or hypertension can damage arterial walls leading to life-threatening health conditions. On the other hand, low blood pressure or hypotension can cause dizziness and fainting, which can also be dangerous in some situations. Studies have shown that hypertension can accelerate the aging process by causing damage to the heart and arteries, leading to conditions such as heart disease, stroke, and even dementia. Hypertension has been linked to cellular aging, where the cells in our bodies age faster, leading to earlier onset of age-related diseases. Another body of research has connected hypertension to the shortening of telomeres, the protective caps at the end of chromosomes. Shortened telomeres are a key marker of aging, and individuals with high blood pressure tend to have shorter telomeres, thus indicating an accelerated aging process. On the flip side, maintaining optimal blood pressure can slow down the aging process and extend the lifespan. Studies have found that individuals with well-regulated blood pressure tend to live longer and are less likely to develop age-related diseases. Moreover, research has also shown that lifestyle changes such as a healthy diet, regular exercise, and stress management can not only help regulate blood pressure, but also slow down the aging process. These findings underscore the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle for promoting longevity. In conclusion, the connection between blood pressure regulation and longevity is more than just a correlation. It's a relationship that highlights the critical role of optimal blood pressure in promoting a longer, healthier life. Regulating blood pressure effectively could indeed be a key to healthy aging, so let's make every heartbeat count by keeping our blood pressure in check. What does the future hold for blood pressure regulation research? As we delve into the future, we're looking at a horizon filled with promising innovations and cutting-edge research. One of the most exciting areas of research is the exploration of novel therapeutic targets. With a deeper understanding of the mechanisms that regulate blood pressure, we're uncovering new targets for drug development. These could offer more effective and personalized treatments for hypertension and other related disorders. But the potential breakthroughs don't stop there. Imagine a future where we could edit our genes to prevent hypertension. Gene editing technologies like CRISPR-Cas9 are already revolutionizing fields like oncology and rare genetic disorders. Could hypertension be next? The idea of tweaking our DNA to eliminate predispositions to high blood pressure is no longer the stuff of science fiction. It's a thrilling prospect that could change the way we approach blood pressure regulation and treatment in the future. And let's not forget about the potential of stem cell therapy. Stem cells, with their ability to self-renew and differentiate into various cell types, offer a promising avenue for repairing blood vessel damage caused by hypertension. Imagine being able to regenerate damaged tissues and restore normal blood pressure levels. It's a field still in its infancy, but the early results are promising and we're looking forward to seeing where this research leads. The future of blood pressure research isn't just about biology and genetics, it's also about leveraging technology to enhance our understanding and treatment of hypertension. Artificial intelligence, for instance, is becoming an invaluable tool in this field. AI algorithms can analyze vast amounts of data, identifying patterns and trends that might be invisible to the human eye. This could help us predict who is at risk of developing hypertension, enabling earlier intervention. It could also help us tailor treatments to individual patients, improving outcomes, and reducing side effects. These are just a few of the exciting directions in blood pressure research. Of course, each comes with its own set of challenges. Novel therapeutic targets need to be validated, gene editing techniques need to be refined and made safe, and the ethical implications of such interventions need to be thoroughly considered. AI algorithms need to be trained on diverse and representative datasets to ensure their predictions are accurate and unbiased. But despite these hurdles, the future of blood pressure research is bright. Each new discovery brings us one step closer to a world where hypertension is not a chronic lifelong condition, but a problem that can be prevented, managed, or even cured. And as we continue to unravel the complexities of blood pressure regulation, 
we're not just working towards healthier hearts. We're also contributing to our understanding of the human body, our knowledge of disease, and our pursuit of a longer, healthier lifespan. So, as we stand on the brink of these exciting developments, we can confidently say, the future of blood pressure research is bright and filled with possibilities.